we are going to discuss the two new omegas that we were blessed with yesterday when this video is being made. It was yesterday. So let's take a quick look at the two new Omega Seamasters. So earlier this year, June, July, we saw Daniel Craig at Wimbledon wearing this no date Seamaster on a mesh strap. So everybody knew it was something different, but nobody knew exactly what. Mock-ups were flooding Instagram and the internet, but nobody knew what it was. We just kind of knew we would eventually see it. It was then wearing it at the Olympics, and then eventually, yesterday, we finally get this release of this beautiful Seamaster black dial with no date. Of course, accompanied by a gray on gray Seamaster, also no date. So, two beautiful watches, two... So we got two new watches. So we saw Daniel Craig at Wimbledon wearing this black on black, no date, black bezel, black dial, mesh strap, no date. But then yesterday they, were, they announced also a gray on gray, gray bezel, gray dial. The dials are different on these watches. The bezels are different on these watches. Both come in a rubber strap or a mesh strap, both with no date. Let's discuss the first one. So the first one, Seamaster Diver 300M, 42 millimeter steel on steel. This 42 millimeter model is crafted in stainless steel and includes a black oxalic anodized aluminum bezel ring with a diving scale and white superluminova. Black aluminum is also used to create the dial, which is laser engraved with the diver's iconic wave pattern. We've seen the wave pattern since the 90s. The skeletalized hands and indexes are rhodium plated and filled with white superluminova while the other markings, including the Omega logo, are transferred in white. So the Omega logo in white, nothing crazy, but we've seen it in white, we've seen it in silver. The Seamaster logo in white, everything else in white. We've seen the Seamaster logo in red, we've seen it in orange, but this is very deliberately black and white, driven by the Omega Coaxial Master Chronometer Caliber 8806, which can be seen through the Sapphire Crystal case back. So once again, see-through case back. Love, love the see-through case back. I always will, always have. The reference number on this one is 2103042. You can kind of keep going, but we'll stop there. 20 millimeter lug to lug, thickness 13.8 millimeters, case diameter is 42, case is steel, dial color is black, crystal domed, scratch resistant sapphire crystal with an anti-reflective treatment inside, 300 meters water resistant, that's 1,000 feet. Self-winding, power reserve, 55 hours. Of course, anti-magnetic, chronometer, helium escape valve, which is standard on these Seamaster divers. Master chronometer certified, screw and crown, also comes on the rubber strap. Price point, on the mesh, 6,500. On the rubber strap, 5,900. I love this watch. But this is one of those watches that for some reason I see and I think, or maybe we just get one of these. It's beautiful, absolutely beautiful. We'll move on to the gray on gray, which I love, but isn't my favorite of the two, but I do really like the gray on gray. So this one, also of course, Seamaster Diver 300M, 42 millimeter steel on steel. This 42 millimeter model is crafted in stainless steel and includes a grade five titanium bezel. That is different. This one has a laser etched in diving scale and positive relief and a single dot of white superluminova at the 12 o'clock. Differences in the bezel there and obviously, of course, the type of metal. PVD stainless steel is used to create the brush dial, different type of dial, no waves, it's a brushed gray, as well as the polished and skeletonized hands and indexes, which are filled with white superluminova. Other markings, once again, including the Omega logo, are now transferred in black. That is something we don't see too often. The watch is presented on a brushed mesh bracelet with clasp and is driven by, once again, the Omega Coaxial Master Chronometer 8806, also with the see-through case back. Same lug to lug, 20 millimeter, 13.8, same thickness, case diameter, 42 millimeters, case is steel, color of the dial, gray, 
same type of crystal, 1,000 feet water resistance, same movement, but now you are looking at a brushed gray dial and this laser etched diving scale on the bezel. And now you've got all black indexes, including the Omega logo. Very different. Once again, also on a rubber strap, the price points of these are both the same as the other watch. 6,500 on the mesh, 5,900 on the rubber. So this is where it's just entirely up to you. Which one do you prefer? The gray on gray with that mesh strap, it's just a ton of gray silver, is actually very cool. Very, very cool. I would prefer something like this over like black strap, black dial, black bezel, black everything. I kind of like this gray. However, that Seamaster, the black and black with the no date, very James Bond, very 60s Rolex Submariner with the no date. I love the fact that there's no other color in there. Sometimes I think this just kind of makes it a little more sleek, gives it kind of a different feel. You can wear it in different scenarios. I know that kind of sounds crazy, but say you've got a Planet Ocean and it's got a little bit of orange in there. I think it kind of changes the watch a little bit. So this black on black with the white, everything white popping in the dial, absolutely incredible. But that is it. Those are the two new Omegas that we received yesterday. Let me know what you think in the comments. Very curious to see which of the two you would choose. Always a pleasure. Catch you on the next one. Thank you.